Welcome to my guide on how to kill the abomination boss. For the requirements, you will need to have completed the quest Heroes Welcome. As for the inventory, I highly suggest Dominion Mines as these are extremely good for the boss. It will make this so much easier for you. You will need to bring a lot of super restore fours and overload plenty of sharks once you have gotten a bit of practice you should be able to no food this magic note paper for the dragon longsword and offhand dragon longswords that I found to be rather common draw a crimson and a blue charm along with a spring cleaner to make sure it high outs the rune salvage. I do suggest to have the 99 Dungeoneering Cape and this is so you are able to teleport to the Brimhaven Iron and Steel Dragons. If not, you can if you have unlocked the Black Demon Mask from Diango's Treasure Hunter you are able to teleport there and then simply run south to where I am located on the map. If not, you will need to go through the whole Brimhaven dungeon to go to the Iron and Steel Dragons. As for my gear, I found that a Decimation Bow along with full Armado armor with Pernix boots it works extremely fine. You do not need to use higher tier armor for this. A Farsight Blood Necklace, so you do get a few heres and a few here heels here and there. You don't really need the ammunition thanks to the decimation bow, but if you do, have the tier one quiver purely for its prayer bonus. And then have the illuminated book of law. Once you have teleported to the iron steel dragons with the 99 cape you will need to hit option 0 for more and then option 6 for Brimhaven metal dragon dungeon. Afterwards run south and you will see a tunnel on the west wall you want to enter it. Once here, you will notice that you're able to refight the Bainite or Rockfall, but before doing so, for your quick prayers, set it to Soul Split and then Anguish if you do have it. For your Aura, either Penance Aura, Vampirism Aura, or even the Revenants Aura. Those are all exceptionally good. The Penance Aura I find is by far the best since you don't have to use prayer potions. Vampirism Aura is good as you'll use less food. And then the Revenants Aura, you will use less prayer points, so it's kind of like a weaker version of the Penance Aura. Activate any of the auras. Drink your overload. And then as you enter the fight, you are going to have to run where I am located, which is the southwest corner by this little water droplet area. Start the fight. And then immediately run there and then drop two Dominion Mines and then run behind the little platform. Now sometimes when you're attacking the Abomination he will send out a fireball just like so. This is rather traceable as in it will follow you but once it's landed it will not move around. Now if you are noticing the area effect is dealing most of the damage for me.
and that's it pretty much but for the next kill I will show you how to do some parts a little more easier the most annoying part is you will have to right click this gate on the south it's a quick exit this is where I like to use my enhanced Excalibur and ancient ritual shard and then once again refight the boss from here immediately place the dominion mines once again and then go behind the little rock fall and then make sure to lure him and now once you get a little bar well it'll be a little chat window it says he begins to charge his attack to you you will need to freedom or anticipate like this little window and then just move out of the way simply put again notice a little fire I will let it land and then just move out of the way and if you really want you can run into the danger zone and this is where you will use your food and then boom another kill but even after the boss is dead, sometimes the area damage will still hit you. Once again, quick exit. And then refight it. And once again, place the Dominion Mines around the same area freedom and attack the boss notice how he shot that fire beam once it lands i will then move he shot another fire beam so i will move again and now as it says he will slam just simply move out of the way a couple of tiles it can stun you if it does hit you that is what the freedom ability is mostly for. And then once again just exit. And then re-enter the fight. The most annoying part about this boss is simply exiting and then restarting it again but thanks to that the dominion mines should be off cooldown for every single fight so it's kind of a good thing and bad at the same time and then remember if you want you can tank all of the rock wall stuff but it will just mostly hurt you as the abomination will take the damage regardless pretty much if he is nearby it and then as a little reminder if he died his aoe area of damage will still hurt you doing this method with my current setup minus a couple of uh, super restores since i do tend to use penance aura i was able to get 33 kills a trip with this that's because i just ran out of overloads but this boss is extremely easy and i found that i average about uh, 2.4 to 2.9 mil GP per hour from this as because the spring cleaner does make you a lot of money from here there is also a very rare chance to get the abomination cape which it is worth a ton and that will just be extra added GP that you would be making now the reasoning that people tend to kill this is mostly due to the fact that 
the abomination has a one out of one thousand chance to drop a dragon full helmet. The dragon full helmet is, I would say, a lot more easier and manageable to get compared to killing mithril dragons for their chewed bones and then lighting it at the pyre fire at the Otto's blessed ottoman's house thank you all so much for watching this rather easy boss guide for the abomination i do consider this a boss considering he does have a lot of health and you do need quite a amount of quest completed to access this thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day